Hello do it yourself groupies today on the Backwoods Mechanic Channel I'm going to show you how to change the headlight assembly on your Ford F-150 truck. If you have a truck between let's say 97 to 2002 this video should cover everything you need to know. If it comes down to your headlight assembly it is something that's absolutely vital to your safety should rank right up there with your brakes. If you don't have no brakes, it could make for a bad situation. You want to be able to see the deer coming before you hear it hitting your grill. Really for the price point that you can get your headlight assembly for, honestly worth just replacing them and getting it over with and it won't take you 10-15 minutes to do it. Let's go ahead and dive into this and let me show you what I'm talking about. What I've got here is a quarter inch drive ratchet with a little two inch extension and a seven millimeter deep wall. I've got on the other side is a ratcheting multi-bit screwdriver with a T20 Torx bit inside. Pop your hood up and you come look at your headlight assembly. Here's what you're going to be looking for. You got these two retaining bars right here, right here. Now, if you look down inside here, you'll notice that your headlight bulb goes right here. But the fasteners that hold your headlight assembly in place is right here. There's one more right down here below it. Come up to the other one on this side and you'll see one right there. Don't worry if you break these things because they can be replaced. But if all goes well, you shouldn't have no issues because these are designed for you to reach down and pull them up. One and two. Once that's done, you're going to want to come over here and verify that it did pull up and off both of those fasteners. You can see right there, it will clear that circle that's cut out in the retainer. You should be able to reach down and start wiggling it and pulling it out. If it wants to have any problems and it starts getting hung up, just make sure to look back in here. Make sure those bolts are going to be clearing the hole. To do that, it will come straight out. It's really that simple. Unplug the light bulb itself and pull out our signal in. Take a screwdriver right here and gently pry up on this and I will pull the head headlight assembly away from the socket. Then we will have our first lens removed. In order to remove the park lamp or turn signal lens, all you got to do is come up here and look for that fastener right there. That's going to be a seven millimeter on the outside or a T20 Torx on the inside. You can start loosening it up, pull that fastener out, or if it's faster, put your Torx screwdriver on it and pull it out. Now once that's done, just set it off to the side, come down to your lens right here, get yourself a good grip and just pull it straight out and then unplug that wiring harness. This one will have two clips, pull them back like so, pull the socket away from it. I've already got the driver's side taken apart. Then you come over here, do the exact same thing to the passenger side. And then right there we go, we got the driver and passenger side out and we're ready to install the new one. Now like I said, for me it's all about clarity. I want 100% clarity and 100% visibility and the way I'm going to do that is by simply replacing these. We're replacing the old headlight assembly with these brand new lenses from Yeti Motor. And there is no question about it, whenever I stack the new one directly on top of the old one, no matter how many do-it-yourself remedies you try, it's not going to compare to a brand new lens. These things are crystal clear, they look amazing and I just can't wait to see how well they work. The lens here I believe this will enhance my visibility better than an original OEM part. Cheaper to buy than it would be paying somebody to come out and change them for you. And doing the side-by-side -side comparison here, you can tell that these are the exact same style of lens. It's made just like the original Ford part. Now as we flip them over to the back and look, you're always going to want to make sure and verify that everything fits the way it should, which means the new lens should fit like the old lens. If you was to order an OEM part and stack it side-by-side -side with this one from Yeti Motors, you really won't be able to tell that much of a difference. It's got everything you need to do your adjusting with. You need to rotate your beams up, down, left, right. It's got all that sort of stuff so this will mount straight up to this truck without problems as for your parking and turn signal lens this thing matches up with the original as well so again this one is nice crystal clear visibility you flip it over to the back side everything matches the original with one exception you see how it's got this little guide right here that guide is meant to go in this slot right here to help guide those pins into place it's got the one on top which is the one that's going to matter the most because once you got this in place get those pins in place it's going to be secured all you got to do is take your clip off of the original one here get in behind it there pry up on it and it slides right off then you mount it up to the new one 
And once that's done, this one's ready to install your light bulb and then plug it back into your harness. For whatever reason you don't have these, you lose it, you break it, don't worry. They do got them at your local hardware store and they're relatively inexpensive. Now allow me to go ahead and put some specifications here on screen for you. Some details that some of you might be interested to learn. To buy these, most of their products do come with a one year limited warranty. You can go to their website and check out everything in full detail. I put you a few screenshots here to look at. Go ahead and pull your stickers off here and remove your old bulb here by twisting it to the left and pulling it straight out. Add it into your new lens. Make sure it's in there good. Twist it to the right and it will lock it in place. We'll move on to your headlight lens. Twist this to unlock it, then remove this bulb. Once again, at this moment in time, you can choose to upgrade your bulbs if you'd like. These are Savania 9007. As for me, I'm going to install the original bulbs here. The reason I'm doing that is because these are the basic bulbs. I already got a video recorded of this truck running at nighttime so that we can compare the original bulb to the new and old lenses. Afterwards, it might be time for an upgrade. Same concept, all you gotta do is put them in place here. Your new lock, put it overhead, and then tighten it down. Now some people at this point in time might go ahead and take your adjusters and try to match them up to the way your old ones was working. I recommend that you go ahead and install these where they're all the same right now. Because honestly, these are relatively easy to adjust. For the installation here, just make sure everything is pretty well nice and straight. These will move back and forth for you so you can guide them into the hole. If you come down here and look, you'll notice that one hole is right here. You got one right here and one right here. That's when you need to make sure, as you can see right there, the retainer is in the way, so I'm gonna have to pull it up as we guide it in. I'm gonna leave the parking lens out and we're gonna install this one first. So in order to do this, make sure all of your X's are nice and in line, that way they will slide over top of the guide. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this one lined up and get the guide in place, and I'm gonna slide it over there where it's supposed to be while I can look through this side and put the guides in place as needed. But as you can see over here, everything is going in place. The guides are all lined up the way it should be. If you look down in between the cracks over here, you can tell that the one on the other side is lined up as well. Using this method to install it means you ain't got to take anything apart. You just got to guide everything in and push it in place. Let's take a peek back here at the retainer clip making sure that everything is guiding in place the way it should. If it is, all you need to do then is just gradually push everything in place and every so often peek back here again and make sure that the retainer is not holding anything back. You have to wiggle it up and down every so often making sure it's going in between the holes. Everything is in line. You should be able to see that rubber bushing coming through the hole there and if it's got clearance on both sides then you can lock your retaining clip and as you see right here everything is nice and secured the way it should be on the top and bottom of both sides and you can verify everything is lined up by looking through the side of it now all that's left to do is install your parking light lens plug back up your wiring harness take your parking light lens and install it along the guide on top while you line up the guides on the bottom just come up top and make sure your screw hole lines up and then add your screw I tell you what, now that these things are good and assembled, I really like the way they look. It's a big improvement to this truck, and I can't wait to fire this thing up and we go compare them side by side with the old headlight assembly. Passenger side on low beam. Now here's what the new ones look like up close. Here's a shot of the driver's side on low beam. And the driver's side here looks good too, so I gotta give it to Yetta Motors. They sent me some pretty good quality products for the price point that they're asking for. Definitely recommend going and checking them out. If you have any needs or upgrades for your vehicles, head on over there and see if they got anything in stock you never know might have exactly what it is that you're looking for so what you're looking at here is this truck's original headlights shining at this building this is the low beam right now we're roughly in the exact same position we was with the old headlight assembly as you can see these are dead on from the beginning i haven't done any type of adjustment to these they were set properly straight out of the box i'm not saying that all sets will be but i do like the fact that these were right on the money when they were installed it's aimed directly in front of me to where i can see what's coming down the road they're not veering off to oncoming traffic or over into the hillside but they're directly in front of me and down on the road so i can actually see the road at nighttime there is the high beam whenever you're driving down the road it's dark it's raining you got deers coming out of the hills on you and all that sort of stuff you want to be able to have that visibility especially whenever modern day cars here in 2022 have led lights that could be glaring into your windshield you want to have the best visibility possible we will go ahead and flip it to our bright lights and as you can see, if you need bright lights, it will shine directly in front of you the way it should be. These are nice, clear headlights. So I gotta say, these are some pretty good lenses. It was relatively easy to install, fit just like the factory, and they're working really great. 
is definitely a major improvement compared to the old headlight assembly. But that's it for this video. I sure do appreciate everybody who tuned in. If this video helped you, make sure you comment down in the description box below. And if you're looking for products for your vehicle, make sure you check out Yeeta Motor. They do got all kinds of different products for you to choose from. You'll have to check out your own make and model and see if they got what you need. Otherwise, I'll post some other links in the description box below to other YouTube channels who have reviewed some of their products. That way you've got a good feel for what you're buying. For updates on this truck, headlight performance, and a bunch more content, all you gotta do is pop the clutch on that subscribe button, follow on all these social media platforms.